Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Just one minute, I need to call someone because I need some help with something. Hope the answer. Doesn't seem like they're in. Often when we need help and we ask someone for that help, they may not be in, they may be busy, they may not answer. But when it comes to asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for help, Allah azza wa jal will always answer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always there. You can call upon him at any time and ask him for anything and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will always respond. And that is our power word for today, the word dua. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to make dua to him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to ask for everything that we need in this life and in the hereafter in the next life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وقال ربكم ادعوني أستجب لكم Allah says, call upon me, make dua to me, and I will answer your duas. And in another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبَ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانِ Allah mentions this verse in the Quran when he speaks about fasting. Allah says, when we ask, when, they, when, when the Muslims ask you, meaning the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, about Allah, Tell them that Allah is close by, meaning Allah hears us and He knows what we want from Him. And Allah Azza wa Jal says, and Allah responds to those people who make dua to Him. And that's what we need to do. When we need help, when we need a favor, when we need advice, we ask people that are around us. Sometimes they can help us, sometimes they can't. Sometimes they give us good advice and sometimes they don't. Sometimes they're not able to help us even if they want to. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all powerful. Allah controls everything in the whole world. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do anything that He wants and He can make it easy for us if He wants to make it easy for us. All we have to do is raise our hands and make dua to Allah. We should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the time in prayer, outside of prayer, in the month of Ramadan, outside of Ramadan. For anything that we need, we should always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why when we read the Quran, one of the most common things that you'll find in the Quran is the du'as, the many du'as that the prophets of Allah used to make. They used to make du'a for children. They used to make du'a for success and for happiness. They used to make du'a for so many things because they knew that this is how they can come closer to Allah and Allah is the one who can give them everything that they need. And that is why our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Ad-du'a huwa al-ibadah. Du'a is worship. One of the greatest things that you can do in this month of Ramadan in terms of worship is to make as many du'as as you can. Write down a du'a list of everything that you would want, everything that you can think of, everything that you need or your family needs, your parents need, your brothers and sisters, the Muslims around the world need and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make du'a. Du'a is so easy, only takes a few minutes. You simply face the qibla and raise your hands and it's better to be in a state of wudu and you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah azza wa jal will give you everything that you want and more. And that's why today's question that I'm going to end, end with is how much dua are we going to make in this month of Ramadan? Jazakumullahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.